you. Good, nice to meet you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. It's been a long time coming. Yes, it has. So exciting to finally have it come out. Do you remember what drew you to this role initially? Um, you know, I thought Martin Amos wrote a complex and compelling novel, um, and hopefully this film with it is with its creative storytelling, its um, you know Martin Amos's respect for um, intricate plot lines and interweaving of of, of characters and story with uh, Matthew Cullen's innovative um, uh, and completely refreshing take on how to present these characters is going to give the audience something that they can really chew on. Whether you're a fan of Martin Amos, who's you know an internationally acclaimed novelist, whether you're a fan of his book or you are a new viewer, I think um, there's something for everyone in, in this project. You got to basically play, I mean the way I watched it today, it's sort of three characters. You're three people throughout the movie. Was that just an amazing challenge? Was it fun to take on three different roles at once, basically? It's called being a woman. <laughs> um, you were just in Geneva, and I thought that was so amazing. Was there any moment there that just stood out as the most impactful out of the whole amazing trip? You know, uh, I, I, had, I had the honor... I had the honor of speaking at The Hague uh, in Geneva at the UN um, and I just feel I feel deeply honored and inspired and, and engaged and really just incredibly blessed to be a part of a bigger narrative, a narrative that is responsible for pushing the conversation forward. One that is uh, for, in my case, uh, with regards to my relationship with the United Nations Human Rights. Uh, um, one that has for 70 years now been the uh, touchstone for um, international human rights diplomacy and legislation surrounding that. One that has served as as a basis for um, uh, innumerable uh, uh, governments and democracies to serve as, as, as a kind of basis for their fundamental principles in which they base their constitutions. And to be a part of that space that conversation amongst that crowd is an honor that I struggle to find the words to articulate. Really quick, Aquaman, so exciting. Yes, I, I mean, it's so soon. Is there like one reason that people have just got to go see it? There, there are so many reasons. It's fun. To say it's fun is like I, I'm letting it down. And already, I've already lost the pitch. Aquaman's awesome, and I don't even know that world. It's fun. It's it's funny. It's 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 fresh, it's new, it's modern, it's cool. And your character is incredible. She's a badass, kick-ass female woman. It was like, she's just her own badass superhero. And she works in tandem with Jason Momoa, who plays Aquaman, um, a character that's been completely reimagined by um, uh, James Wan and Jason Momoa himself. We worked with incredible filmmakers and, and writers that wanted to do a modern take on an old superhero movie or, or or, or story and it's just like it's it's a superhero movie for now and I feel really lucky and really happy that I'm a part of this new take on a, on a kind of a classic genre. Amazing. Well, thank yeah. you so much. Thank so you. Nice to meet you. Congratulations.